I go to work, but I don't really have any bills to pay. I still live at home, but I can go out and buy booze any time I want. I'm still in education, but that's only through my own doing. I get paid like a child, but I get charged for things like an adult. So the question is, am I really a grown-up? Hello YouTube, Miller Corner here, welcome back once again, and the other day I was watching an episode of The Big Bang Theory. Now let's not get into whether you like it or not, I know it's a bit of a Marmite show, it divides opinion, but there was a very interesting point raised in the episode I was watching, because the three main girls of the programme were out and they were discussing whether they felt like grown-ups yet, whether they felt like they were proper, mature adults. And given that last October I turned 18, which means that by law, by definition, I am now an adult in the UK, I started thinking, do I feel like an adult? Or do I feel like I've earned the badge of grown-up at this point in my life? Some people do, some people seem to have already got their lives fully sorted out and are fully deserving to be called proper adults, whereas other people of 18, 19, 20 years old are still kids and their habits and their lifestyle is still that of a teenager rather than someone, an adult, ready to face the big wide world. And there are various conflicting factors about my life which means I can't really decide whether I've earned the badge of grown-up yet. Let's start with education. I've been in full-time education since I was about three and a half years old and I was in primary school and I'm still in full-time education now and I'm due to finish in about June sort of time. Over that period I've gone from primary school to high school where you had exams and things and it started to get a bit more real. You started to feel like you knew what you were going to be doing with your life and now I'm at college. I'm studying a full-time course that is exactly about and focused on what I want to do with my career and with my life. But whatever you're doing, whatever it's about, the fact that you don't have to wear a uniform anymore, the fact that you address the teachers by their first names and all the other different interesting and just better things about college that I've touched on in a previous video you are still in school, so to speak. You still have a teacher that you have to kind of obey, I suppose would be the correct word. You still have to do what they tell you. You're still getting set homework. You're still having things to do. You've still got class projects. You still have to turn up on time. There's still a lot of schooly type things about college. There are people in my class that are 20 and 21 years old. They're proper adult age. And they're still having to adhere to the same kind of rules that high school kids were. Turn up on time, be dressed vaguely appropriately, do all the homework. There's still a certain element of school about college. I still feel in one sense like I'm still a schoolboy. I'm still having to turn up to a place specifically designed to teach me and I'm doing that on a near daily basis to learn things and to expand myself for my future. So as much as college is more what I want to do, it does still feel like I'm going to school. I still feel like I'm 12 again and like I'm going to high school. Then there's work. I've mentioned in previous videos that I am currently employed, and I have been since I left high school about a year and a half ago. And as much as I kind of work it around my college hours, it is still a big feature in my life to turn up to work, to work hard there, to earn money, to save up, and to pay for things right now. But it is only a part-time job, it is only a little fast food joint, and I no way see it lasting, even to the end of this year, let alone for any point beyond that. But it is still a job, it's still quite a grown-up thing to do, to turn up and to do a job and to earn money out of things. But there are adults doing bigger, better and more important jobs that are getting paid two or three times the hourly rate that I am. Which makes me wonder if me having a job is quite as grown up as it sounds because as much as it involves me going out and earning money to save and to spend and so on and so forth, it does still seem a little bit small, a little bit insignificant compared to the more important, the more difficult and the more highly paid jobs that proper adults seem to have. Do I still feel ultimately like I'm just a small fish in a big pond, earning the paltry amount that I am, doing the basic little job that I am. So as much as it's kind of an adult thing to have a job, it's still a bit of a kiddie job. So certainly in terms of my employment, I'm not sure whether I feel grown up about it or not. Lifestyle. Now this is an interesting one because there are various things you can have about your life at this age that are quite grown up. For nearly a year now I've been able to drive a car legally. I've passed my driving test as I'm sure you're all very aware and I have my own driving license. So being out on the roads in my own car with my own driving license that I've earned through passing my test 
is a grown up thing. I'm out there in the big wide world, on the busy roads, and I'm driving, and it is a fantastic feeling, as again, I've touched on many times. It's just a good feeling, and I think that is one of the first transitional steps from teenager to adult. Passing your driving test is kind of the first step up the ladder into adulthood, because not only is it an extremely useful thing to be able to drive, it's a thing that you simply couldn't do as a kid. There was no way you could do it unless you were very fortunate that your parents or someone you knew had private land that you could go and drive around on. Then there's the question of drinking. By law in this country now, at 18 years old, I can go into any bar, pub or shop, and provided I can display a valid form of ID that confirms my age, I can buy as much alcohol as I want to. But that doesn't necessarily mean I'm a grown-up, that's not necessarily a grown-up thing to do. As much as it kind of makes you feel more grown-up to be able to go and do that, it's not necessarily a grown-up thing, because as much as it's illegal, there are people drinking at relatively young ages now. So I don't believe that going out and buying booze is a good measure of how grown up or how mature you are. What about housing? Well obviously at 18 years old it wouldn't surprise you to learn that I still live with my parents, which you kind of have to because at 18 years old it is absolutely impossible to get onto the housing ladder in the UK. To be perfectly honest with you, it's pretty damn hard to get onto the housing ladder at 28 in this country. But again, I don't believe that someone not living at home is reflective of how mature they are or not. It proves that they can, it proves they're independent enough, but it's not necessarily a reflection of how mature they are that they finally moved out of home, it's more a reflection that they can afford it, which is an extremely difficult thing to be able to do in this day and age, certainly in this country. And whether you live at home with your parents or not, there are certain things that are reflective of how grown up you are. For example, and I hate to have to admit this, I don't know how to use a washing machine. I've never used one in my life and I don't know where all the powders and the liquids and all the things go in there and how to make one work. If you presented me with a washing machine and everything needed to go in it, I would stare at you blankly and either ask my mum for help or Google it. Which is a bit sad that I probably should learn how to use one, but again, that's not a particularly mature thing that I don't know how to use one. If you live away from home and you still don't know how to use a washing machine, you should probably get on that. And to be perfectly honest with you, I think I'm going to have to get on that as well. What about public transport? What about events? What about concerts? What about going to different places? This is another area where people of 16, 17 and 18 can find it difficult to grasp whether they're an adult or not. Some places will still charge you as a child. I know I've been to certain cinemas that will still charge you as a child for a cinema ticket when you're 16 or 17. But there are certain other things that will charge you as an adult the day that you become 16. For example, before I learned how to drive, I was taking trains to college on a daily basis, as I've mentioned in previous videos. As a 16 year old, I was being charged for adult tickets, which are a lot more expensive than child ones, which I didn't think was fair because at 16, you're still kind of getting wages like a really young person, but it means you're being charged as an adult with the wages of a child, which can kind of conflict things in your head and make it hard to come to terms with whether you are an adult or a child or not. All the things I've listed over this video, education, employment, lifestyle and entry to different events and locations will probably confuse you a bit between the ages of I would say 16 and 20 as to whether you should be a mature, sensible and responsible adult or whether you can still get away with messing around a bit, still being kind of a teenager, kind of young. I like to feel like I've got a bit of both in my life. On the one hand I've got stable employment, I know how to drive and I know perfectly well what I want to do with my career and my future but on the other hand, I can't use a washing machine and I will still laugh hysterically and uncontrollably at any innuendo jokes. I live my life by this motto, growing old is mandatory, but growing up is optional. You're as old as you feel. And I feel like that's the best way to be. As long as you're not doing anything illegal and you're not hurting anybody, live the lifestyle you want to lead. Whether you still want to mess around and be a bit of a child, or whether you want to be mature and sensible and grown up and adultish about your career and your plans for your future, do whatever makes you happy. Go and enjoy yourself, go and make some memories, go and do what you want with your life. Who cares whether you feel grown up or not? Who cares whether you feel like you're eight or 80? Do what you want to do, go where you want to go, be where you want to be, and do whatever makes you as happy as possible. Thanks so much for watching the video guys, I really really appreciate it. If you liked it don't forget to click that thumbs up button and also comment down below. Where do you stand on feeling grown up? Do you feel mature and adultish and like you know where you're going with your life? Or would you rather just mess around, giggle at innuendo jokes and watch cartoons all day? For now though, thanks once again for watching the video guys and don't forget to click that subscribe button for more videos from me as soon as they're released. And in fact you'll want to do that because the next video will be the first episode of the highly anticipated Super Sacchetto build series. That's right. It is finally here. For now though, you have a brilliant rest of your day and I will catch you soon. Have a good one.